Shakalaka, you've been duped and you are not going to like this. Stay tuned. What's up everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you've been duped and you are not going to like this. This is based off of a video by Uncomplication here, Bitcoin Manipulation 2021, textbook wick off distribution exposed. We're going to take a look at that towards the end of the video. Now, why am I making this video? Well, guys, in a video I made a few days ago, back when Bitcoin was probably north of 40,000, like 45 to $50,000, I said, hey, there is this head and shoulders pattern forming here. It looks like it could go all the way down to $30,000. Yikes. And some other things happening here on the chart. This red line here I've had here for a little while, this is a 40% drop from all-time high. This is concerning because of basically previous drops. We haven't really had 40% drops, at least in the last cycle. So once it got to this line, mm, that is concerning. Now, it's not only Bitcoin today. Everything is down. The entire market is down 15% in the last day. Ouch. Bitcoin's under $40,000. ETH is under $3,000. Binance Coin, $428. Dogecoin is $0.41. Cents. Cardano's under $2. So everything is hurting today. And we're going to take a look at exactly what's going on, why it's going on, and why specifically I'm just a little bit concerned. However, at the end of this video, I'm going to remind you guys, I always like to leave you with a happy ending. So... Stay, stay tuned till the end because it does get better towards the end, but we have to go through the tough stuff to get there. Uh, before we do, guys, head on over to Twitter. Join us at the Crypto Love, where every Friday we give away one of these shirts, whether the market's going up, down, sideways, whatever. You could enter to win, so make sure you do that. Now, in a video I made probably like, I don't know, four months ago, I had this slide here. I said, bull market ends after we have a 30 plus percent drop to shake the trees. There's massive retail FOMO. People are selling their house for Bitcoin. Super bullish prediction by Tom Lee of Fundstrat and Charlie Lee warning on Twitter. Now, at that time, we hadn't had those. We, that was like back when we had one of the first drops. It was like a 20% drop, not even a 30% drop. Didn't have any retail FOMO. But I want to take a look at some things that have happened recently. So we've had 30% drops. As a matter of fact, right now, we're touching on 40% drop. So that's big. Next one, massive retail FOMO, like people selling their house for Bitcoin. Like last week I was at a party and everybody was buying Dogecoin. And if we take a look at the news, this guy here, Providence Piece of Land, is sold for cryptocurrency. This is from just a couple days ago, Friday, May 14th, 2021, from Providence, Rhode Island. If you're looking for land to buy, there may be a new way to do it. One seller sealed the deal for a lot on Wayne Street in Providence, asking strictly for Dogecoin. Mm, so that's happening. Then we have super bullish Tom Lee Fundstrat prediction. If we take a look at this, guys, a couple days ago, May 16th, Fundstrat's Tom Lee explains why he's doubling down on Bitcoin after Elon Musk's surprising reversal and increasing his price target to $125,000. Oh my goodness, it's happening. And lastly, Charlie Lee warning on Twitter. If we go take a look at Twitter, Charlie Lee is not warning us to get out of the markets. But he is being somewhat sarcastic in his tweets recently. This is a tweet by Plan B from May 14th. He says, hey, net result of the Turkish ban, U.S. tax FUD, fake Toshi lawsuits, Elon Tesla energy FUD is that Bitcoin is five times higher than about six months ago. And both stock to flow model and on-chain data indicate that we're only halfway through this bull market. I would not be surprised to see another 5x in six months months and if you take a look at this chart yeah it looks like that would happen now charlie lee says bitcoin stock to flow model is a self-fulfilling prophecy powered by ngu technology and you're like oh ngu technology i wonder if that's like a smart contract thing well i had to look it up myself turns out ngu technology stands for numbers go up technology that's what it is numbers go up technology bitcoin numbers go up technology now he's being sarcastic there not only him but also Peter Brandt being quite sarcastic on Twitter. These are guys who have been pretty pro-cryptocurrency. Now they're being somewhat sarcastic. Peter Brandt is saying, now officially the largest correction since March of 2020. How can this be? There's supposed to be institutional support. That's what he's joking about. Uh, he goes on further to say analogs, and he takes a look at the price here, the price of the top in 2019, and also 2018, those tops as well. 
So he's saying we have something going on. Now, I should say, the past week I have been pretty apprehensive because it has reminded me significantly of what happened at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. So, could this be the end of the bull market? Possibly. It might not be, but it's possible. So, here are some reasons why I had these red flags going off in my head. So first, everyone in crypto. I went to a party. Now granted, everyone was aged between like 30 and 40 years old, but six out of six people were balls deep in Dogecoin. Like, that was frightening, okay? Doge is the new XRP of 2021. I remember back in 2018 when everybody was in XRP. And now it seems like everybody's in Doge. Not only that, but back in 2017, there was this shocking reality, like the week that the market crashed, somebody was like, oh, I, I just bought some Litcoin because I sold my Ripples for a profit or something like that. And last week, somebody was just like, oh, what's that doggy coin? Okay, so can't even pronounce the names. And then we have scams and DeFi NFT stuff galore. Not only that, but a lot of the scams are pulling the rug right now. Not only that, we have internet marketers like Alex Becker and the like, all of them jumping into cryptocurrency. Furthermore, we have the sarcasm from Charlie Lee and Peter Brandt. And the last two things that I want to talk about, one is the psychology of the market. So that's this here. So right now, I think we've gotten past the optimism part where people are like, this rally is real. Past the belief, time to get fully invested. Yeah. Past the thrill, I wish I, I will buy more on margin, got to tell everybody to buy. And then we have to the euphoria, which I think potentially we had the irrational exuberance last week with Dogecoin. Everybody's going to be rich. Everybody's going to be a genius. Got to go all in on Dogecoin. Now, look at where we could potentially be right now. And I don't know where we are because it's difficult to predict the future. But I'm just saying, complacency. We just need to cool off for the next rally. Isn't that what people are saying? Oh, we just need need some consolidation. Need some consolidation. Yikes. Potentially, we could be heading down. Or maybe we are just cooling off. It's difficult to say. Because here's the thing. We know what's happened previously, but we don't know what's going to happen in the future. And that brings in number six here, game theory. If you ask anybody, everybody knows that the top's going to be September, October of 2021. Everybody knows the price is going to go up to one hundred and fifty to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Well, if everybody knows that, and you're a smart game theorist. Wouldn't you take profits before then? Wouldn't you take profits at a price lower than then? So, potentially, we might have that going on, and that here is what's talked about in this video here. And I'll put a link to this video in the description and also in the pinned comment because you guys should watch this video. He actually made two of them. He just made another one, I believe, yesterday or a few days ago. Uh, but basically, Bitcoin manipulation, textbook wickoff distribution. This is basically big money taking profits from us. Institutions are finally here. Like what Peter Brandt was saying, aren't we supposed to have institutional support? No, actually, we're getting the rug pulled on us by institutions, as shown in this video here. Basically, they set up their shorts, they take their profits, and then boom, the price comes down and we all lose. Now, does this mean it's the end again? I don't have an actual answer for you on that one. I don't think so. And here's why I don't think so. Because if we look at where we are, the top was $65,000. The overall total market cap, $2.4 So basically, we 3 x since the last cycle. And if we kind of zoom out, maybe, yeah, okay. So the first, before Bitcoin like 20x, this time 3x, I think that's kind of small for what it could do in some growth. So I think that this cycle, as of yet, is very small. But we do have institutions who are going to game theory us. And that leads me to this thing. So two things. One, Bitcoin is heading back down towards the fair value of Bitcoin. Anywhere from green to blue is fair value of Bitcoin. Great territory to buy Bitcoin. So guys, if you've been buying Bitcoin in the yellow to red, well, potentially, Maybe you could buy it at kind of a discount. So that's one thing that's going on. Second thing that's going on, if we remove this blow off top from this first peak in 2013, it actually does kind of look like a hump that we're seeing right now. So potentially we could be seeing that as well. But regardless of what's going on with Bitcoin today, I think the Winklevoss twins say the best. They say if you aren't prepared to hodl, 
then you probably shouldn't be here. And furthermore, that's what Cameron says, and Tyler goes on to say, Spartans know what to do. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there's the whole Spartan hodl meme. So, that being said, yes, it's sad times for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Yes, it hurts to see the market bleed. Do I know how low it's going to go? No, it could go down to $20,000. I think, potentially, we could see it hit around $30,000. Not only because that's where this head and shoulders is pointing to it, but also because if we zoom out even more and we take this off of a log, okay, we can see this trend right here, this trend line is going right up there. And then that is about $36,000 where we might find support. But when I put it back on log, it falls right in there on the bullseye. So I don't know. Coincidence, maybe not. So guys, that's all for today's video. I do encourage you, go check out these videos. Let me know what you think about them because I think they're pretty convincing videos. Could the market go down lower? Yeah, that's uh, one of the risks of knowing Bitcoin. Could you take profits now? Yeah, sure. Could it go back up? Yeah, sure. This is part of the fun ride. We'll kind of have to see. Don't be short-sighted. The market is going to keep on going until 2025, 2029, 2034. And remember, there's a fixed supply of Bitcoin. No other asset like that. It still is the Apex asset. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. If you hated that video because, hey, it was just like end of the bull run is here. Wow. Sorry. Catch you, later. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.